What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idol Heroes, and today, well, we're on our main account, we have of course one of these Devil Power at Splendid, as much as I love this artifact, I just don't necessarily think it is the best in slot for what we're going to be going with on our account, and we have been accumulating some of these chests. I've been considering going for some of these other more niche ones just to test them out. I've yet to test out the Fan of Love and Despair, and it kind of seems like one that could be interesting. The really only big difference is it additionally increases energy and restores self HP equal to 8% of the HP lost. Like, it's decent. We're getting all damage dealt, HP attack, and crit damage reduction. Again, we're still getting a shield equal to 30% of our max HP, but I don't even know if that really matters that much when we're talking about game modes like Sea Land. As you guys see, like anytime we take a single step into Sea Land, uh, it's almost like our heroes are chunked immediately for almost like all their HP pool. You can see right here, uh, I kind of want to see how hard we get hit here. I guess that's like not too big of a hit. And if we are generating shields between him and Natalia, it might be worthwhile. And so for the sake of testing for all of you guys, I am going to go ahead and do just that. So let me see what we got chilling around. You know, we might as well just make a new one from scratch because I'm sure we have a ridiculous amount of chests laying around somewhere. Do we have four fans? Yes, we do. But let's just make four of these from scratch. The other thing we're also going to need is the appropriate defensive artifact which is the exotic shield okay i think that looks right yeah exotic shield all right let's get this done let's let's build it up let's see how this goes we still have four more left over so if we want to make like a crown or something like that we can still do that we have some uh variability uh possible on that setup there so uh wait no we got to go defensive we need to put in you and we need to go Deify. Oh my gosh, you have to do it every time. I was hoping I could just get Deify four times. Deify number two. Deify number three. And lastly, Deify number four. That looks good, right? Everything's good. Yep, yeah, okay. Fourth one. We're going low on items too, but and that's neither here nor there. Let's see how this actually performs. Now, before we upgrade it in Ormus, we do need to take it all the way up to max stars here. Let's get that going before we do anything else. The rest of them can stay at the low level. It does not matter if they are one star. We're just going to go ahead and get this all taken care of. And I think, I, I mean, we haven't like retired anything lately, so I think we'll have enough resources to fully build this up without like regressing anything else so let's get this out of here let's go to our bags i'm sure i have a ridiculous amount of resources in here too Surprisingly, not that many i was expecting a lot more that was kind of a letdown <laughs> all right anyway let's now go over to ormer's workshop we need to do this here let's quick select what does that do everything yeah that's fine <laughs> that's fine uh and then we got third 51 yeah we got more than enough so we have to go down find the fan pick our upgraded fan and the single fan and let's get this up to splendid and see what it can do maybe it gives a little bit more survivability to our doom terminator vulcan that would be nice if it does if it does not then well we have a fun little trophy on our account saying that we tested it so let's slap this yep that's good there let's put this over here we have a decent setup let's go and let's see what happens now that we have an upgraded version of this um really isn't any other hero to slot in here is there maybe an es actually an andre would probably be one of the better ones now we do have a decent shield here the question is how long does that shield last <laughs> the answer is it doesn't <laughs> it does not andrea might proc some healing or something but like the biggest issue with this game mode right now is the horrify that gets put on everybody. It's just such a bad feeling. And like Natalia, even if she doesn't even get a basic, that means we're not getting the shields we want. And then we just completely melt because we really, really need the shield from Natalia. Try running you there. Let's put Natalia back in the front row with Eos. Oh, wait, I messed that up. I swapped the Natalia. I meant to swap the Asmodel. 
Uh, so we get a shield, kind of helps, but like when we don't have a shield, we're just like getting completely obliterated here. Holy cow. That is not good for us. Um, yeah, Natalia back in the front row. Like that is kind of what I'm thinking. The percent HP that it's healing doesn't seem to be all that significant. And yeah, we do generate shields and all this, but not really enough. Like, literally, I think the only way we beat this is Yormtum having the god roll of dodging. <laughs> if only they are added an artifact that included dodge. But then again, the crown might help in that situation. It's kind of weird how they just keep the same fan image, though. We do get an active off. That's cool. He doesn't really get to do anything. I'm wondering if the fan would be good on, on him. Maybe, like, the swap is actually better. That way he has some sort of, like... Kind of healing built in put this one back over here because i did like running devil's power on the doom terminator vulcan even with that control immunity from the item oh my gosh he got obliterated the amount of damage that comes in in this game mode is just stupid at this point like honestly i don't think it would be nearly as bad if they didn't also horrify us every time they hit us or every time they killed one of our allies it's almost better like not running an aura and like but then again it doesn't matter like someone's gonna die yeah like someone dies every single time and even with all the control immunity we have it's still nowhere near enough to be competitive like just it's just not going to happen absolutely not gonna happen i still think maybe an upgrade melodic would also be something we could use decently and I kind of want to do this and put that back on you because it actually worked out pretty good the time we tried that. And keep her in the front row. I think that'll be a decent setup. The Eos might survive like a hit. Highly doubtful though. She's got a flag. He does survive pretty well with that, but some of the hits still do come in a little bit too hard. And again, Yormtum didn't attack a single time that entire battle, which is just kind of crazy to think because like it's not like we have a zero amount of control immunity and especially when you take a look at like natalia uh 84 percent like that's actually kind of solid overall it's not bad at all even if we did go back to running like crowns on these two i don't think it's gonna make a huge difference although you never know it might um and let's just put a crown over on you too and give you a defensive passive so that maybe you live like an additional hit but at least for like what we're going for here i don't think the fan is a good choice i think literally building an entire team with golden crowns is probably the better play here and that is not the strategy we went for man if only she could get a basic off in round one that would have been perfect and he of course got petrified like it's just the crowd control is the biggest issue right here and that's even with us having a ton of like control immunity from treasure train and all these other things like it's just crazy to think how much control immunity we do run because we're also getting more from the aura another 19 percent so we're at like 60 70 percent maybe even close to 100 on some of these heroes and we're still getting crowd controlled left right and center it's just not even fair i wonder if we put yorm tum in the front see if he can dodge put natalia in the back maybe she gets a basic off Let's give that a go. Let's see what happens. Maybe, maybe, maybe. If you can dodge a ton of attacks, that'd be cool. And again, if we can get Natalia to do a basic, that would be awesome. But she still died before she could do anything right there. Maybe, maybe the fan on her would be a better play. Because she isn't as strong. Like right there, round two, we're getting that fine. But then, like, getting to round three and getting an attack off almost feels completely not possible. So let's do that swap. Let's just keep swapping these around and see if one of them ends up being a winning combination that actually gives us a victory or at least close to it. Let's grab five more, do a few more attempts, see how these artifacts are playing out. I feel like if both of them were just golden crowns, we would be in such a better spot. Again, I really want her to get a basic attack so that we can fill our shields up because those shields would give us so much survivability in round three to potentially get more active skills off. 
Good, good. We got a lot of dodges on the Yorm Tummin round one. That's kind of what we want to see because that means less deaths. And then, oh no, she got horrified right there. Oh, because he died to some sort of reflect damage shenanigans. Uh, I'm going to go with the Fox just in case we actually get to an active. It might give us another active. Ugh. Like, I, I mean, we, we literally have an S tier Vulcan. You see how much damage he can do. Granted, I know, like, whales literally have, like, 100 plus million attack heroes, but we're in, like, the 50 to 60 million range. You'd think that would be pretty solid. Uh, turns out, it's not. Not in the slightest. Because, like, even the best active from Vulcan right there, just not cutting it. Like, the only thing I can think is maybe just run him as offensive as possible and just hope for good RNG. Like, that's the only thing I could think that could possibly work. Or maybe she gets a basic off and gets a shield going, but this is just not working for this game mode, to say the least. So I think I've now wasted two artifacts in this situation. And in reality, we should have just gone for three of the new pure gold crowns and put one on every single hero that we are using here because that would probably net us a better result. So I figured I'd test it. For the sake of testing, mainly because I'm not highly invested in this account anymore, figured we'd see how it would go. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. It might be useful in more game modes, but the additional bonus it has is kind of feeling like one of the weaker ones. See you guys next time.